I think that uh, it's true that hot seat and the actual actual um, encounter, or the actual practice uh, of the individuals in a case is superior than to be in a passive mode uh, of of viewing uh, others uh, struggle with with a difficult um, simulated case. Um, and it's true that it's time demanding, and it's true that it's resource demanding, uh, and that's why, because of these very good arguments, that's why when we engage in simulation-based training, we need to be extremely conscious of uh, good utilization of time, cost effectiveness uh, of the whole process, and optimization of the use of this whole activity in all aspects. And with that said, it, uh, we, we've learned that lesson back home in Israel when we uh, had uh, to evolve into more cost-effective programs that uh, demand less time and hopefully are more effective in, in their impact. And I think the lessons learned have to do with what really happens in the hot seat? How can we optimize the learning of the hot seat individual? And no less important is what really happens in the passive, so to call, seat of the observers. It's not passive. A good observation is a very active observation. Part of it has to do with actually providing tasks for the observing individuals um, to view their peer struggling, to reflect on it, to identify teaching points. And a good debriefing that takes place in our setting would include first and most important reflection done by the individual who has uh, been on the hot seat and has taken the case. Second, his or her peer peers that come up with their active observations of things that uh, have been successfully done or could have been improved uh, with some suggestion. And only then facilitator comes in with some uh, additional you know, insights and lessons that uh, he or she could add to, to, to the, uh, to the um, reflections of the others. So part of the role of the active observation has to do with uh, sensitizing ourselves to identifying nuances in human interaction and uh, professional behaviors. Uh, and uh, if it's done right, these are certainly very beneficial. Again, we have that policy that people won't come to a simulation center without being, you know, uh, on the hot seat at least once. Uh, but there are ways to, to make it logistically possible. It depends on the um, environment and the number of rooms and the number of SPs that are available, mirror image, etc. You can easily uh, create uh, an effective two, three, four hours workshop with, for 20 people that everyone has been exposed to a case. Um, as long as you have a very structured approach to what happens later in terms of the reflection and the uh, debriefing and the ongoing use of these materials.